DC circuit question number 11 is, in the given circuit, find current in 2 ohm resistor. We have to find current in this 2 ohm resistor. Options are, option A, 3 amperes, option B, 6 amperes, option C, 2.5 amperes, option D, 1.5 amperes. Again, this is the circuit and we have to find current in 2 ohms resistor. 4 and 2 ohm resistors are connected in series therefore our dash will be 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 ohms. In the next circuit, 6 and 6 ohms are connected in parallel. Hence, our double dash will be 6 into 6 over 6 plus 6 which is equal to 36 over 12 equals to 3 ohms. Five and three ohm resistors are now in series and our triple dash will be equal to 5 plus 3 equals to 8 ohms. Next, two 8 ohms resistors are connected in parallel, and their equivalent resistance will be 8 into 8 over 8 plus 8, equals to 64 over 16 which is equal to 4 ohms. Here, our equivalent is 4 ohm, voltage is 24 volts therefore we can find out the circuit current using ohms law. I equals V over R, put V equals to 24 and R equals to 4, circuit current comes out to be 6 amperes. Now, we will go back sequentially at each step to find current in each resistor. As same values resistors are connected in parallel, therefore 6 divided by 2 amperes will be equally divided in both branches, this means 3 amperes will flow through each branch. Going one step back, we realize that 3 amperes will flow through 5 ohm resistor and also in 3 ohm resistors as they are connected in series and we know in series current remains the same. Expanding 3 ohm resistor, we get 2 6 ohm parallel resistors, here we can calculate the voltage at this node through ohm's law, it comes out to be 9 volts, after we subtract the dropped voltage from 24 volt, dropped voltage is 15 volts. Anyhow, we don't need it. We need to find current, as here again two same values resistors are connected in parallel, the 3 amperes which is coming from behind will be equally distributed among two branches after partitioning in two. Hence, 3 divides by 2 equals to 1.5 amperes, this 1.5 ampere will flow through 6 ohm and 6 ohm resistors and consequently through 2 ohm and 4 ohm also because circuit then becomes in series. Hence. Answer to the question is 1.5 amperes which is option D.